So let's take a look at what we're making in this third tutorial. So it's basically a little pinball. Uh, so we'll be creating some basic shapes, uh, a little behavior where when you tap the ball, it ricochets and we'll start to play with some um, collisions and some different physics associated with that. So let's jump straight into Reality Composer. I'll just open up a, a blank template here. We're gonna be using obviously a horizontal. Uh, we need collisions. How do we want everything colliding here? Well, we can do a couple of things. We might, look, we might start with kind of a rubber, a little bit of fun here, a rubber kind of collision um, set environment here. And let's bring in some shapes. So the first one we're gonna bring in is, we'll bring in a ball um, and we'll just move this a little bit closer to us. And we might scale that up a little bit just so you can see it. Looks great when you bring it outside. Don't forget you can pinch and bring uh, when you actually view these in AR outside, uh, you can actually bring them in and actually kind of expand them up a little bit. Um, so that's snapped down there. That's looking good. Um, there's so many beautiful kind of uh, different things. Let's go with uh, aluminium here. That looks amazing. Um, and then we'll just bring in a couple of other shapes before we get started on the interaction. So we might bring in uh, one of these and just, I might, uh, let's tap on that and just scale that up a bit. We might bring that over here. So it's going to hit, we might bring in, we might bring in just one more for this so that you can see. Let's bring in a, uh, just maybe a cube. Uh, did that go somewhere? No, we'll try that again. We'll bring in a cube. There it is. Uh, might bring that over here, trying to anticipate where it's gonna go. Uh, we'll give that maybe, we'll make the obstacles or things here just some different colors just so we can get it. We'll get uh, some nice gold there. That's looking great. Might scale that up a little bit more. Um, and now we just need to make sure that everything's going to work in regard to our collision. So we're going to tap on our sphere first and let's go down and have a little bit of a look. If you haven't seen some of the other tutorials, have a look at them first. It might help you. But down the bottom here, we're going to select our physics. We're gonna say this is, uh, let's say it's kind of like a lead uh, type material and our motion type's gotta be dynamic if it's actually gonna move. And then if we check down the bottom here, the collision shape, it's definitely a sphere. So we actually want uh, that as the sphere shape. And we're gonna do the same with the other ones, except we won't do dynamic at the moment. So if we actually go down to uh, this shape here and we turn on our physics, let's keep that fixed Let's keep uh, that uh, lead as well. Um, automatic, yes, we could have that or we could have like a sphere. Let's leave it automatic at the moment. Let's do the same with our cube, turn that on. And one of the things, a little bit like coding, one of the great things is actually uh, just changing that to lead. This is a bit more of a box setup, so we'll leave that there. Um, a little bit like coding, we always like to trial it out first and just see, like I probably should have brought in um, a shape at a time and did a little bit of a test there before we actually went ahead. Um, but I've done two here and I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit impatient. So let's do a bit of a test. Um, nothing's going to work. So when I tap it, nothing works because we've forgotten something really, really important. And that is our behavior. So up the top here, you can see the little arrow. Let's add a simple behavior to our ball. And we'll do a custom and we'll tap that. And what we want to do is tap that once on a tap. We need to actually nominate our ball, which will go green in color. And then we want the action. So what do we actually want it to do? We want to add a force, uh, 18, let's see. Let's bring that right down, bring it down to about there, about nine. Um, but when I tap on that, we also want to change it. Now I'm going to do a two finger rotate around so I can see the direction. And that looks pretty good. Okay, let's see how that looks for a start of our pinball. Little pinball wizard game here. I'm gonna press play at the top. And I'm viewing this obviously in kind of VR mode. I'm not outside yet and layering it outside just to see if it actually works. And when I tap, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's increase the speed at which that moves. So let's go to our behaviors and pump that up a little bit. And we kind of had a rough idea of where it kind of went. So what we might do is just move that where we think it might ricochet. And as I tap that, I might just rotate that a little bit and start to play with some angles a little bit. Let's see how that works. Tap, 
Oh, that's looking really good. Um, so we can actually start to play around with some different things there. What if we actually had our environment as a, like an ice kind of uh, setup or environment? So if I actually go to um, my attributes here, and instead of rubber on the ground, let's move it to ice and see if that changes the way things actually move, especially the ball. So let's press play. Yeah, it rolls a little bit more, which is great. And you can start to actually step up some different things here. Let's, let's increase the velocity and have a little bit of fun with this. Press play, tap. You can see that just goes straight off, which is not great. 97K. Let's bring that back a little bit. And we'll press play again. And you can see there I'm starting to play with different attributes and it's starting to roll a little bit because it's ice. Um, you can start to see it from a, uh, a greater viewpoint here. If I tap it, you can kind of see things actually moving. If I actually tap that there and slightly change that angle, let's see how that changes. And you can see, and that goes a lot further actually, you can see how we can actually start to play with angles. Kids can actually design their little pinball game um, and have a lot of fun with it. And to be honest, there's lots of trial and error here, which is a great little process to be involved in. Uh, the Pinball Wizard game, fantastic little um, activity for kids. And as you can see here, once you actually go outside, you can start to really scale up and see how it looks in the real world and augmented reality. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.